Hey guys, it's Tilly. Today I'm going to be doing a book haul video. I am about three months overdue showing off any books that I have recently bought. So I've got two big stacks of books here and I've also got quite a few audiobooks. I will try to be quick and informative with them all so that this video isn't one hour long. These are in no particular order, I've just stacked the books up. I'm going to get started with the physical books and then I'll move on to the audiobooks. The first one that I've got, I already have this book um, in a regular copy, but it is an anniversary edition which is absolutely stunning. And that is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. This one is by V.E. Schwab and this is the anniversary edition. Um, this is the dust jacket which is already stunning. Um, you've got this on the actual book. Then when you open it up they've got artwork um, and the, the actual case of it is very nice. Um, so the artwork you can see is on the end pages and the front pages, very stunning. It has the gold book tag on it and it also has artwork inside of the book, which I haven't opened it very much so you might hear it creaking at the spines a little. Um, but it's absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful edition um, and I am absolutely in love with it. I have also read this book and I really enjoyed it. It's probably one of my top reads of the year so far. The next one that I've got is my current read. It has just come on holiday with me and it looks very, very tattered and that is The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. I'm really enjoying this book so far and I can't wait to see where it's going to go. If you guys like an academia fantasy read, I would highly recommend this one. I'm really enjoying it and all the characters as well. I picked up The Five Wounds by Kirsten Valdez Quaid. This was a recommendation recommendation from Emma at Dimmick's Karen Up. I still haven't got around to reading it but I am very excited to. She said it was really really great. It's a fiction book and it is based around family. Plus this cover is absolutely stunning. I also jumped on the Sally Rooney bandwagon and picked up her new book Beautiful World Where Are You? I haven't read this one yet. It is my next one on my audiobook list. Um, the book has been sitting there for a while and I've heard quite a few mixed reviews. I really liked her normal people which I guess most people would tend to like. Um, but I'm intrigued to see what this one's going to be like. I absolutely loved All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr, so I picked up The Cloud Cuckoo Land. This is quite a big chunky book. Um, I don't know when I'm going to read it. I feel like it's going to be one of those books that have to be in a certain mood to read, but I will hopefully get around to it. And I also actually have no idea what this book is about. I just picked it up because I really like the author's first book. I bought this absolutely beautiful um, special edition of the Wonderland collection. Um, obviously Alice in Wonderland. I got this on sale which is why I bought it. It's in a like protective plastic um, sheet but the actual cover of it is like paper hand cut out and things like that. Um, and it's stunning. It's a very good classic book and it came with its own bookmark that was same themed around this but I'm currently using that elsewhere. I picked up Anything But Fine by Tobias Madden. This was one of the Dimmix Ginger Lop YA book club books. I personally did not like this book very much at all, but it is good to see an Australian author um, and there are other people who very much love the book, but I thought it was pretty average. But it is a gay contemporary romance book. Um, it features around a ballerina who suffers a very bad injury and he's pretty much trying to figure out what he's going to do with his life. I got The Kingdom of the Curse by Kerry Maniscalco. This is the second in the Kingdom of the Wicked series which I really enjoyed. I preferred the second book over the first book and it was just really really good. The first book is fantastic. It's a fantasy page turner that I really really enjoyed and I definitely recommend this if you guys want a sort of easy yet intriguing fast-paced fantasy series. This next one is a monster of a book. Um, it is Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. I didn't love this book as much as I thought I would and everyone was giving it a lot of hype. There were some parts of it that I was really struggling to continue reading but by the end of it I was pretty much changing pages as fast as I could. I really wanted to know what would happen um, and it was good. I haven't read a vampire book in a while so it was kind of made me want to kind of jump back on the bandwagon of vampire books. I picked up Vengeful which is the second book in the Vicious series by V.E. Schwab. I really enjoyed this one. I think I've talked about the first book in previous videos um, but it's really really cool. I really like the concept. It's kind of like following these bad guys. Um, there's no real hero to the story and um, they just do terrible things and you kind of go along with them whilst they do it. But this is a continue on from the series. It's got fantastic characters and the storyline is really really good. These Violent Dollites by Chloe Gong. I really enjoyed this one and I cannot wait for the next book in the series, which is coming out very, very soon. It was just really, really great. This one has um, a blood feud between two rival gangs. Um, however, some fantasy thing starts happening and these two gangs sort of have to work together. It's got the Romeo and Juliet kind of retelling and it was fantastic. I liked the fantasy elements, the romance elements and the world building and the writing as well. It was fast paced, really easy to read and it was just really fun. 
A bit of a heavier book was Three Sisters by Heather Morris. I really like historical fiction books um, and these ones are based on true stories. This is from the author who did Tattoo of Auschwitz um, and Silken's Journey and this one now goes on to Three Sisters and it is based obviously um, during World War II and it is quite heavy in parts but it is a tale of resilience and relationships between sisters and the power of love amongst them that keeps them going. The Absolute Book by Elizabeth Knox. I actually did not finish this book. It sounds like it'd be right on my alley, but the book itself was quite slow. I hopefully will maybe finish it one day, but unfortunately I have plenty of other books to read. Um, so this one follows a girl whose sister is killed quite mysteriously um, when the guy who killed her is released from prison. He also dies quite mysteriously um, and she has the Absolute Book, um, which kind of throws her into a bit of a fantasy world. The story plot sounds great, but unfortunately it just did not hit the spot for me. It's quite difficult to get into this book and it seems quite slow. Perhaps it might take a change when eventually the action or story fully begins, but I just put the book down and started something else so I never got the chance to do that. The last book that I've got is the Serpent and the Dove trilogy. This is by Shelby Maroon and I did go through these books pretty quickly. They were very easy to read. They definitely weren't a favourite but it was just fun and easy and I enjoyed them from that. I really like the actual covers. I think they look really pretty and I like that they're all matching and they just look really cool. I picked these up because everyone was pretty much raving about them. Um, as for what's on the back of the book, the blurb sort of thing, it really solidified that I was going to buy this. So it says, Bound as one, a witch and a witch hunter, to love, thrust together in holy matrimony. Honour, there was only one way such a story could end, or burn, a stake and a match. And I am devouring romance at the moment, so I thought this sounds like it's going to be a pretty good romance. And it was. I also got a few audiobooks. I don't know if I should include this on the book haul, so I'm just going to name the titles and the authors. Um, there's quite a few of them because that's pretty much all I've had time with lately. So I also had The Air Awakens Complete Saga, which is five books. That one is by Elise Cova. It is a fantasy series, quite fun and easy. It was pretty average. Um, a Deal with the Elf King. This one is by also Elise Cova. I preferred that one more than her Air Awakens series. I thought it was pretty good and it's a bit steamy. Then there's The Bridge Kingdom by Danielle L. Jensen. Once again, it is a very easy fantasy with a bit of romance into it. Seems to be what I'm reading the majority of. <laughs> Crash Into Me by Tracy Wolfe. This one is a romance. Then the last one I've read is A Shadow in the Ember by Jennifer L. Armantrout. I have only just recently started listening or reading Jennifer L. Armantrout and her books are really good. Once again, they all seem to fit into the category of easy yet fun to read and that's kind of what I'm devouring at the moment. Well, there you guys have the books that I have recently bought. I'm sure I will have a few more of those by the end of the year. And thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I'll be back with another video again soon. And hopefully you guys have a lovely bookish day. Bye. Just quickly before you guys go, if you are located inside of Australia, there's going to be a giveaway on my Instagram. This is all thanks to Dimmick Stundelup who has given me these books. So check out my Instagram post. I'll leave a link to my Instagram down below. Thanks.